Hey streamers, if you want to make your stream a lot more visually appealing and make it more interactive for your chatters, you got to check out Mix It Up. Mix It Up is a free, full-featured, community-driven, open-source stream bot developed by streamers for streamers. It allows you to interact with your audience in a way that no other extension on Twitch can because it's installed locally on your machine. So here we're on the website and you can see from the features that it has Stream Deck support, Stream Avatar support, broadcast integration, donation and tipping services, and overlays and widgets. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see some more details about things that it has. And all the way at the bottom, you're going to see where you can download Mix It Up today. You do need to have Windows 8 or 10 and a Twitch TV account. Installation is super quick and easy. And once it's installed, just connect it with your Twitch account and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna cover how you get it set up for your first time use. Once you're logged into the app, you wanna go down to this icon right here. And we're gonna click on this and we're gonna scroll down till we get to accounts. And here you've already logged in using your Twitch account, but now you wanna log in your bot account. If you weren't aware, Twitch does allow you to have a second account that you can use as a bot account so that you can do certain administrative features and it's going to come in very handy while you're using Mix It Up. So we're going to click on this icon. We're going to go down to where it says services. And now we're going to start adding all the integrations that we want to have. As you can see, there are a ton of integrations that we can use with this app. The most critical integration you're going to make is with your streaming software, whether it's OBS, Streamlabs, or XSplit. What you want to do is you want to scroll back up to the top. You'll see those three choices up here listed at the very top. You want to click on whichever one you use and then follow the instructions inside in order to add it as a browser source and test connection. Once it says test connected successfully, you're good to go. So this time I'm going to cover the chat function. In order to get the chat, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these icons right here and we're going to scroll up to the very top and click on chat. In here, you're going to see a representation of what your Twitch chat looks like. It's going to show everybody that is connected to chat. It's going to show all of the messages that are sent in chat. And at the very bottom, you're going to be able to add a message and send it either as a streamer or the bot account if you set up a bot account. At the top of the screen, you have three options. Dashboard, which allows you to change the layout of the screen. Clear chat, which does exactly what it says. And if you're getting hate rated. And third is you can actually disable the chat. And here you can see how many people are actually viewing you and how many messages are in chat right now. And if you're someone that does not want to see how many viewers you have or how many chat messages you have, click the gear icon here and go, to, which is settings. And now you want to go down to hide viewer and chatter. Click that, exit out, and now it's gone. This time I'm going to cover the feature channel. What we're going to do is go over here to this icon and we're going to go down to channel. On here, you're going to be able to see some information about your channel that you can update right from Mix It Up, such as the title, what category you're in and any tags. Scrolling down, you can see all of the channels that you're following or team members, anyone that's playing the same game or the same language. And what you can do is you can actually open their channel if you want to view it, or you can actually click this button right here and it will actually raid them. This time I'm going to cover command. So to get to commands, we're going to click on this icon here and we're going to go down and click on command. Commands allow you to create shortcuts that you can execute right from Twitch chat. I do have a few set up, but we're going to create a one brand new. Once the new command window opens up, there's a few things you need to update in here. First is the name. Second is the chat trigger. The chat trigger is just a couple letters that you want to be able to use to execute it from chat. So if we were to do a test one, I could make one say called hello world, and I'm going to make the chat trigger H W. Next, I'm going to go down here to action. I'm going to pick what I want to happen when this chat command is executed. What I'm going to make it simple, I'm going to call it just a chat message and I'm going to hit this plus sign to add it to the list of actions. Now you have the option to either send it as a streamer or make it a whisper. I'm going to send it as the as the bot and I'm going to make the message to say hello world. If this looks exactly like I want, I can hit this button right here to test this command. Or if I scroll to the bottom, I can hit the save icon or I can test the entire group. And once it looks the way you want, you're good to go. Keep making commands. This time I'm going to cover events. In order to get it to events, we're going to click on this icon here. We're going to scroll down to it says events and we are going to click on. There are reactions to just about every event you can think about with your Twitch stream. From reacting to any kind of donation, cheer, gifted sub, follows, posts, raids, 
Snapchat users coming and going, anything you can think of, there's probably an event for it. And in order to use this, what you wanna do is you wanna click on add command next to any event that you see. And you wanna click action, just like in the command section, choose what you want to be able to have this reaction be, hit the plus sign and then start the modification. And when you're all done, just like with the command, you can enable or disable any specific event reaction so that you can control it. So this time I'm gonna cover timers. Timers allow you to set some kind of command or chat message on a regular recurring basis. In order to get the timers, you are gonna go click on this icon here and you're gonna go down to where it says timers and you are going to click on it. You can see a list of timers I have set here. In order to create a new one, you're going to go down to the bottom. You're gonna click on add timer and you're gonna set it up just like you do with events and commands. Really straightforward. This time I'm gonna cover the user function. In order to get to the user function, you're gonna click on this icon here. You're gonna go down to where it says users and then click on it. One key thing about Mix It Up is you have to remember to leave it running while you are streaming. That's the only way it's gonna be able to push these functions you're setting up to your stream and record data on the back end. I do have my user list hidden, but what you're gonna be able to do with this is you're gonna see everybody that comes into your chat. You're gonna see how long they were there and you're going to see a lot of other information about them, such as their role. And if I click on an edit icon next to one of the users, this one happens to be one of my mods, Goulette, you're going to see what role she has, how long her account has been active, how long she's been following me, um, and how long she has watched my stream for since I've been using this application. And you're going to go down, you're going to see other notes as well. Now, one cool thing you can do is you can actually set up a special entrance command for any of your users. So if I were to do that, I would click add command. And just like any of the other functions that we've set up, you're going to go down to action and decide what you want to do. One thing I like to do for my regular viewers and my VIPs is set up a custom entrance command so that when they show up in chat, it shows a shout out of them, showing a clip from their channel, an image of them, and maybe even plays a sound if that's cool. If you like this tutorial, like, follow so you won't miss the next one.